trying to get crazy with this scene. Don't you know I'm loco? Yeah, about ten years ago. Longer, longer. The, the yeah. indoor, the so indoor, indoor show was nice. Yeah. yeah, so nice one show. time, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> we had the beard, you know. For the How show. dare you? No, Shh, that's it. We can't give uh, out the secrets. But it was a long time to get in. You know, we almost over by six for business. You know, but yeah. By the time we in, we drink all the beer. <laughs> 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 no more cerveza. What's happening, everybody? This is Bobby Ruiz, a.k.a. Bobby Tribal. And once again, it's time for the Lower Left Podcast. Another one of these uh, local editions. We got some uh, SD... Iconic car club members. Yeah, I guess I'll call it. I'll go as far as saying that, Johnny. Does right. that uh, iconic mean borracho? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> loud. Sure. Yeah. All right. Can we fit it? Yeah. <laughs> the, the guys that uh, make all the noise, bro. The big SD noise makers. Everybody be kicking back, chilling, having a good time, <laughs> vibing out to some music, and then here they come. Big old ruidazo. <laughs> and you know, we've brought you guys up a couple times. I don't know if you've been listening to the podcast. Yeah, and, and, and we bring you guys up. But this is actually uh, Johnny's club. Johnny's uh, a yeah. member of the Viejitos Car Club. So that's who we got here today. Renee and Renee. Hey, yeah. Renee, little Renee, big Renee. Uh, always known as little Renee, big Renee. Yep. Viejitos Car Club. Uh, Johnny's going to. What? Johnny's you want gonna me to take, take the Johnny's reins? gonna take the reins. On this <laughs> it's one, gonna man. be too uh, <laughs> too difficult. Yeah, but thanks. I'm, yeah. A, I'm just gonna kick back and enjoy my beverage. So, your uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, your your cold one. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So so I was fortunate enough to uh, join a club that I've been uh, involved with for a long time. You hit those. I I put my year like 2004. Um, my brother since 99 2000 whatever it is and then Ephraim, you know back in the 90s but that's how we met you guys um right. i was like 20 21 22 no i was 20 and uh it's been a it's been a ride since then it's been mm-hmm. good i've i've known uh Renee since you're you're my age right yeah a little bit younger <laughs> like a year younger. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then and then Renee no, I, two years so so, so <laughs> quick quick flashback. Uh when I was little we were cruising Highland. This was like I don't know, ninety nine, two thousand, and I remember seeing the red sixty convertible um pulling to the gas station right there next to Burger How little, King. little, little. Me? Yeah, how little were you? Oh, I was like twenty. Yeah. No That's not little, 18, bro. 18. You're a young you're yeah, youngster. 18. Or like yeah. little. Yeah. I'd like yeah, yeah. Adrian, Adrian's little. I was uh, I was eighteen. I remember seeing the the red sixty pull into um, uh, the gas station right there on the corner next to Burger King, and I was like, "Fuck, I want that," and I still want it. Yeah, and, and he still, still has it. Twenty one yeah. years later, <laughs> yeah, still yeah, want yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody's asked you a couple times. So, yeah. I, I yeah. still want it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, but you know what? So does he. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. He still wants it. I, I have a lot of memories with you guys. Um, I'm really appreciative of being part of your guys' life. Um, and I, I know the story, but I think everyone wants to hear the story of Vijito San Diego. Um, Renee, big Renee, uh, one of the co-founders of the chapter. All right. Back in, what, 96? Something like 98. 98? Seven to shade ish. So how did that happen? Because you were not in, in another club before, no, right? No, I wasn't in another club. Oh, you weren't? Oh. Uh, I used Pick up my 60, and uh, I was trying to enjoy a club in San Diego. It was a lot of people that asked me because it was, you know, when you kind of got real fresh, everybody like, oh man. So I went to a couple of meetings, you know, a couple of car clubs. Who'd you check out? I went to all these. Uh-huh. But, you know, all these, they got 58 down. Uh, they're trying to change the rule to 60s. So a couple of guys, like, nah, you know. So they're like, you can tell. They don't want me over there. Yeah. So uh, I went to El Centro, and we uh, we meet Crazy George and a couple of guys, and like a 
Bobby said they're too noisy. <laughs> <laughs> You were, you were trying to enjoy the show, and then uh, you heard them? Drinking, yeah. you know. So, yeah. actually, me and Jefe. Did you say drinking? They were, no, no. Sodas. Sodas. Oh, yeah. Sodas. <laughs> so, Renee, little Renee, do you remember that? Or? Yeah, and, and to backtrack a little bit, um, so one of the reasons he went to check out the Oldies uh, car club meeting was because I was a member of Oldies Bike Club. And that all started because uh, they did a car show at my junior high, which was Memorial Junior High. Mm-hmm. It was, actually, it was a bike and model car show. And uh, I, I used that was my middle school that I went to. And uh, my dad was building the 60, and his painter actually, I was building a lowrider bike at the same time. I was freaking 14, maybe? 14, around there? 14, 15. And... Um, so that was like that was the show I was gonna bust out with that my middle school, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, and uh, so we went when I went there, um, William, Felix, and his dad Hefe were actually at the show. We never had met. I didn't never. I don't. I didn't know who they were. Right. I didn't meet. I, you know, they were just randomly oh, that there. Oh, sounds too. a lot better, Johnny. Thank you, oh. Johnny. Text. <laughs> Yeah, put yeah. it right in. Yeah, <laughs> right up on me. I, I, I put it right in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that big old black yeah. thing right there. <laughs> you see, I didn't flinch, right? Whoa. Uh, so, um, so that's when pretty much uh, William came up to me like, hey, "That's a pretty cool bike." It was a purple bike. He had a purple bike. So, oh. <laughs> just so everyone knows, uh, William just entered the room. Yeah. Uh, Will William, right? Yeah. Will, what is, Chilly Willie. Chilly Willie. Chilly Willie. Chilly <laughs> Willie. <laughs> So, uh, you know, we started kind of, you know, talking there. Hey, your bike cool. Okay, cool. Invited me to his house. Invited me over to his house for a meeting for Oldies Bike Club. And uh, took my dad. It was like a Wednesday. Like a fucking Wednesday. They had, had a, meeting a meeting on at, a Wednesday? Yeah, at his, at his parents' house, William's parents' house. Uh-huh. Went over there. And then uh, my dad met his dad. And we didn't leave that meeting until like fucking two in the morning. Oh, shit. <laughs> On a, on, a, yeah. on a school night, on a school night, dude. On a work night, oh, and it was from on. there, yeah. Then that's when he. Do you do you remember that conversation, <laughs> Big Renee? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago. Not, Not sure. No. So and I then, remember so, we went to Women's South to the. Uh, so that was the night you guys you guys met. Yeah. Yeah. So you became yeah became you know, friends. So you, they say. Uh, you want to go to the meeting Saturday, you know, Chicano Park. For the car club. This is for the car yeah. club now. Yeah, I went over there. First, it was the bike club. Rene, I guess, he was yeah. with them. For, yeah. But Jeffy wasn't happy or something. Or there, you know. Yeah. So he said, let's try to do something else. So. So so you, that day, you met William and Felix. Yeah. Back when, how old were you guys? Were, are you guys the same age? William's, you're like a year, What's that, William? two years older. Um, What's up? What's up, How man? you doing, man? <laughs> good, pretty good. Yeah. Um, I was uh, actually 16 at the time, and I was from Oldies Spike Club, and my dad was from Oldies Car Club at the time. But uh, something happened, yeah. and then my dad decided to step out and started something different. And, yeah. So yeah, I was, yeah. we we heard it was a bunch of noise or drunk drunk guys <laughs> at, a, at a show somewhere. Uh, I, I it doubt still it. Is. it still I, is. I doubt yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, he came back and <laughs> it started a San Diego chapter yep. of Vijitos back in '98. You said, yeah, '90. Yeah my, yeah, my dad and George Luna met back in '93, '92, and he also he's told my dad that he needed to start a chapter down here because. So who kinda, who's who was that? George. Crazy George. Who's that? He's the founder of the Vijitos. Yeah, yeah. And what's the history on that? Uh, so like I, where did where did he start the club and, and it's at so uh, it's when LA. and when 80, did that chapter start? Uh, it started back in 85? 80, 80, 86. 86, oh. right? yeah, yeah, eighty six, eighty six, right? Yeah, eighty six, South LA. Yeah, um, and it, it it's it's kind of similar story of San Diego, where right. it spawned out of another about car another club. car club. Yeah, and it was him and his brother and a couple of homies from the other car club, and yeah, so about what well, you could say twelve years later, thirteen years later, we. Started San Diego, I guess you could say. What were the bomb clubs back then? Like in the nineties, in mid-90s, San Diego, early, yeah, oldies, oldies, just oldies, up. oldies, and yeah, that was actually like bomb bombs. It was oldies. I mean, you had a bomb here and there, in, in between clubs, but I think it, my brother was in oldies back then. Who, Joe? Joey? Joey? Yeah. Well, we met Joey. He was trying to buy the sixty. <laughs> That's how we yeah. met him. He tried to buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to. 
Yeah. I don't know him for a long time. Yeah. I think in the in the eighties, I think late eighties he was Yeah. He the was oldies. in oldies too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think he got the The Ford. He had that forty nine Ford. Okay. Because I know Joey, you know, we used to we had the 64. Yeah, he's had, he's, had, he's had everything. The 59, the sedan he's had, delivery. Yeah, he's had a 59 sedan yeah. delivery, 59 hardtop, 62 rags. Yeah, I think he we used to go to the shop 63. over there in Home Avenue. Yeah, when we'd have the, yeah. the, the get-togethers right yeah, there. Yeah, in Home Avenue. We used yeah. to go over there in front of them. Yeah. How old were you when you got your first ride, Big Renee? Sure. And what was it? You know, actually, I'm from Tecate, from Mexico. So I moved here when I was like 17. Because I don't know what the, what the reason I like to live in the state. San Diego? San Diego. California? Yeah, California. I moved to San Baja Jose. Baja or, no, or North Bay? No, no, I, <laughs> no, no. I, when I was like 17, I moved to San Jose. I was living in Santa Cruz. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. It's nice up there. What? And, um, <laughs> but it's nicer here. But yeah, it is. I yeah. was over there for a couple of years and come back. I moved, I moved to LA, to La Puente, with Ooh. my cousin, on the 79, 80s, when the cruising was, was a cruiser in mm-hmm. winter. Was you know seventy nine eighty eighty one eighty two. That's the uh, Highland was That's happening when down I started, here too during that time period. And those days I was hanging out with a bunch of guys in from LA, you know, go to Temple Street, all those. But I say, oh man, I like those car and winter. So later I went back to Tecate, you know, from my old town, and come back again. I buy me my. I did. Well, the first car was like a seventy two Impala Caprice Classic. Oh, Primer, but put five twenties. You know, I always like five twenties. Yeah, no radios for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah, so, you swerve anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, you know. So I still put five twenties. I think used to say five twenties fifteen back in the days. Mm-hmm. The premiums. Yeah, and I put on the you know Richard rims and everything. And after that, what? I moved back to San Diego. It was one of those cars used to cost five hundred bucks. So I bought a sixty four Impala convertible. One. And let them grow for 500 bucks. <laughs> Imagine that. 500, so you 500, paid 500 bucks 500 for a 64 bucks, rag. A 64 rag top. In what year? Um, shoot. Maybe uh, 80, 89, 88. Oh, that's kind of new. I were current, right? Yeah. 89, 90. But you know, like, I think he's a little off. Even then, <laughs> yeah, I but, even but, then you found cars in people's front yards. <laughs> Yeah, and after driving. after that, yeah. being yeah. buying cars and buying selling buying cars and bugging people, you know, Poiloma. I used to live on Poiloma. That's where Rene born. I remember this old man. He was in the is that car. is that why you're ritzy? So yeah. Is fancy. that why you're fancy? Yeah. Yeah. Bougie. Yeah. 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 I drink my Pacifico Bougie? with the pinky. Yeah. 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 You know, little por- yeah. little Portuguese. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the you're saying. for a straw. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember. It. When I was still living in Puno, I used to be an old man. Got a 62 in the backyard. And in Pala. So I moved from Point Loma, I moved to, from Point Loma, I moved to Logan. <laughs> <laughs> right here in Julian. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Right here in Julian and, and Crosby. Uh-huh. Now it's Cesar Chavez, now it used to be Crosby. So, you know, I buy my house. So I went back to see the 62 still there, it's still there. So I talked to the old man, a real old man. I said, oh, so what's up with the 62? He go, nah, yeah, it's not. So finally he said, yeah. So I said, how much you want for it? He go, uh, give me $2,000. Nice, 62. Nice. So I said, hey, I'll buy it. And the old man come over. He go, hey, well, my wife come up, come over. You tell my wife you just pay $1,000. She was like, <laughs> she was like a younger Filipino girl, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So you want to keep the money? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> all the money, the yeah. girls, the lady's gonna ask for the other money. Yeah. So she go, oh. you go, oh, you tell my lady when she come over, and tell him, yeah, you pay a thousand dollars, okay? And I give you all the tools you want. <laughs> kind of like a old, like an old tool, you know, the old, nice. he was like an old retired Navy guy. Yeah, you know, was his name on the tools. And so come over, I give you, you know, two thousand dollars. I drove the car, and. As soon as I pay the money, the lady come over. But the old man he put the money in thousand. <laughs> you know, because, yeah. Did she, she come, ask you? Yeah, she asked. She me. did. You know the Filipino lady. Yeah. Like, how you much know, you pay for the car? You know, ain't bullshit because a, a sailor with a Filipina like yeah. that's. Like, yeah. Yeah. The old lady yeah. was like eighty years old. She's like a, maybe thirties. Yeah. And she come over like right away. You know? But the old man put the money in this side. Now doesn't come back. 
Dale. <laughs> and she go. Yeah. And so I said, oh, talk. So I looked at the old man. He, oh, he said, give, me, give me the old tools. <laughs> so like, you know, I give me the to the car. Yeah. I come the old man for like a month, you know, pick up tools. And then, because he got so many tools. Nice. So you, you know, still have some of those tools. It's one of those. Yeah, yeah, we do know. actually. Yeah, yeah. Riley, you can't Riley his name. Yeah, his name was Riley. Somewhere it's like Renee's a getting of... brings nah. out the tools. Why does my dad's tools say <laughs> yeah. Riley? No, but the thing was, he was like a machinist, and he invented tools yeah. like to get the spark plugs out oh, of the yeah, V8. Yeah. He would like it. Was, so I was like, oh, nice. Well, because I, because yeah. I became a mechanic, but yeah. I'm like, holy shit, this makes yeah it was, like so yeah, many sense, yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah. yeah so so, you so know, how long did you have that sixty-two for? You know what? I took it to my cousin to cut the tree. They were with you know the one who did a lot of cars for us. And as soon as I come over here, I painted black and sold it the first day. What did you sell it for? First day. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. I remember the old man. He told me, "Hey, I, I got something in the trunk. It's real hard for me to see when I'm driving." So. Open the truck, they got the original blinds. The Sankos. Oh, wow. Sanko. So, with the screws and everything. Right there, I put this, you know, the, the blinds and I open those. <laughs> so, nice. I took it to cut the painted and as soon as brought it here, some guy offered me a tini. But the guy screwed up because I, I buy those for Dayton's, 13 Dayton's for some guy. Brand new Dayton, 1372 spoke. A brand new one. I cut on the car and the guy said, how much you want for the car? I say. Give me five thousand dollars with the Dayton's and everything. <laughs> oh, and you go, nah, I'll give you four thousand. I say, you want? Give me forty five and I'll take the Dayton's. So I put those stock ribs. Yeah. Like two days later, they come from LA, come over and say, hey, I want the Dayton's now. Now I don't want to sell yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> and I still have those Dayton's. What? Oh, shit. Three of them. Three of them. What? Three of them. You got <laughs> drunk and left one somewhere? No. That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> like, this has happened no. with the, the last month. We got, we got. He, he, he so left one outside and so he got jacked. He got jacked. And why yeah. would he leave one outside? Because it was a spare that he took. Um, took he drove. He went oh. to a picnic at Riverside, and when he got out, he just took it out of the trunk and went inside. And when he went back out, it so was go right. gone. It was Ezel yeah. from Ezel. Friday. Was right back. Back. So okay. if anyone out there, yellow five twenty. How many? How many cars have you had, Renee? Maybe, maybe by twenty. 20? Wow. Which one was your favorite? Or which okay. ones are your favorite? <laughs> so right now, what do you have? I just got my last one, my my old 60, and I got a 39 Master Deluxe. That's and you, you just That's went it. through them and... Yeah. I said, I used to have like four or five in my car. Yeah, I know William's got something real sick Because right no more parking What's in that? My house. You have a Pontiac, right? <laughs> a Packard. Oh, what my brother, what my do brother. you have, a Packard? I have a 1936 Packard. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, your brother has that. Yeah, my brother You've been has working on it for a while, huh? Yeah. So it's it's almost... The suspension's done, right? Suspension's done. It's just, you know, the cosmetic stuff now. Yeah. And with my Packard... Um, same year as Johnny's, right? Yeah, same year, but it's a coupe. Yeah. Yeah. Badass. Where'd you find that? Um, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. This one doesn't look for girls. Score. It looks for guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. well. <laughs> so this guy posted it. It said, for sale, 36 Packard. And I was at the stoplight. And I sent him a <laughs> he was looking at Instagram you know, while I was driving you know, at the stoplight. And then I sent him a picture of my 51 Chevy hardtop. I was like, want to trade? Send me a message back. Call me at this number. So I, I hit him up and I let hey, let's do this. He was in LA. And yeah, he came over the next week, brought the packer down. He, he asked me, hey, do you want to come see it? I'm like, no, I want the car. I know what I want. Yeah. You know, it's a project. You know, like, I don't care. I'll make it happen. Nice. Yeah, I brought it down. We made the trade. My 51 Straight across. Running. Yeah. And he was cool and it, it just went down like that. Yeah. Badass. Yeah. And it's complete, complete car. Everything's there. Yeah. Okay. I just picked up a transmission from it. Is it has the original now. motor? Uh it had. I pulled it out. I bought a 250 for it and a five speed transmission for it now. Um uh -huh. making it all Chevy. Nice. Put a busting two in the front, C notch. It's on the ground already. I know that's what I saw. Yeah. Cool. Come on, Johnny. 
I wish I did that to mine. I wanted mine to lay too. I, I don't. Does Wait, your friend, wasn't yours lay? No, no, the owner lays. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, lays potato chips. Anyways, uh, Renee, what about you? Uh, yeah, what about you? Yeah, <laughs> what about me? You, you had a shitload of cars too. Not only lowriders, but like Datsuns, trucks, I like bugs. I like everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Datsun, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Geo Metros. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I actually did have one. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, man, just same old thing, dude. I mean. Well, you did what like like your pops did. Yeah, you would slang them. I would, yeah, that's what I was gonna get to. Like yeah. where I would buy something, cruise it, sell it, buy something else. I was thinking about that. I should have bought that suburban off you. <laughs> I look. I remember looking at. It, I almost did it, and I don't know why I didn't buy it. And I was. Uh, I saw something the other day, and I don't know what it was. Like oh, shit, I should have bought that suburban off. It was a sixty four or sixty five. Yeah, right? yeah sixty four. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. That's it went to New Zealand. Regrets. Yeah. I went to New Zealand. Was that the big three you had right there? Yeah. And I was like, I was. Uh, should I do it? Now? <laughs> should have done it. Yeah. Nah. Just for a while, man. When the cars were affordable, I would buy them, cruise them. Sell them. Yeah. Then, but you got those ones that aren't going anywhere, though, too. Yeah. I got two, the my 47 convertible and the 54 wagon that it's broken right now. So you wouldn't sell them? No. 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 I've got an offer. This is almost like. I for which one? For both of them. The wagons become iconic in San Diego. Like, everybody knows that wagon. Yeah. Used to, besides making a shit ton of noise. No, making up. It, making shirts. No. <laughs> yeah, it's been on shirts. It's yeah. been pictured, and it's it scrapes a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's when scraping. Yeah, I don't think a lot of. I don't know. Not in San Diego. I mean, the only thing that I remember for a little bit was the travel, the the truck. Yeah, remember we actually went out. Yeah, did some damage. scraping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was know. that when Brian Bell yeah, shot, shot us both yeah, scraping? Said, yeah, that was fun yeah. on the freeway. Remember? Yeah. When yeah. I, <laughs> hey, so let me ask you guys this. So how do you make all that fucking noise? The sirens? Yeah. They're not just sirens. There's multiple things. Or are they all sirens? They're, the sirens are Mexican. Yeah, they're all, they're, all the, they're all the they're all the fire engine sirens. So like, like all of them are fire engine sirens? Yeah. Yeah. They, but they, they, they had different so they're models not Because they repop shit like that, too. Yeah, right? no. Nah, these are... Like so that. is that like a requirement for the club? No, it's just... Something you It guys, was a more of a... Because before it was a... It was considered like when World War uh, what, Two, I think. Uh, yeah. Bomb siren. It was a bomb siren, air raid like for siren. A, air raid siren. So when yeah. the bombs were coming, they would do so. The bombs were coming. They oh, were coming. Oh, I see. <laughs> and now you know people were like, "Dude, you guys make all that fucking noise." We used to run from the sirens, and you fuckers are breaking it on me here. <laughs> so, so they're it's they're air sirens for bomb raids or no. the fire. Trucks? It was the same. It was the, it was same, the same siren. So yeah, pretty are much, they electric because yeah. they have crank ones. Yeah, too, they right? got crank ones. They got bicycle ones. They got motorcycle ones. So the ones you guys use are what? We use the the ones out of the old fire engines. I mean, like I said, there's different. Are they hard to find? Are expensive? Now they're they expensive. Make different sounds yeah. depending yeah. on the time period. Do you 40s, have one in your car already, William? Fifties. I have one. I don't looking on an eBay. <laughs> <laughs> so how much are those things? Uh, right now the lowest I seen was like three hundred and something dollars. Yeah, so. working. Well, well yeah. Depends, yeah, So you got to rebuild them sometimes, sometimes and get them. Yeah. No, uh, the the one that we got. Uh, I remember we used to have a friend in Tecate. Was a bombero. Uh huh. And we, I told him, actually still my friend. <laughs> Bombero, mochete. <laughs> we went over there to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> so we take this out. Yeah. But you know what? And and I know, like you said, you listen to the podcast. Yeah. And we just like to talk shit. I don't really but but yeah. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without it. Right. Like it that's it adds saying. a vibe. Yeah. Like to the morning, everybody's, and then it, here it comes, and you guys, and it's kind of a good. Um, I don't know if you want to call it branding or you want to call it just something you guys well, do to that people well, know that you're there. Well, for right? a while, we're the only club that was doing it. And then it just kind of went like to everyone. Yeah, to yeah. everyone. I, I, mean, I think it was something like. Do you have one, that, Johnny? Yeah. Hell yeah. I think it's. <laughs> sorry, bro. <laughs> man. I, I think Sheesh. it's something that. that <laughs> like like we were talking about. Right? What were we talking about? Yesterday, um, you know, people elevate their rides with something new. Yeah. This was something new at that time. At that time yeah. uh-huh. um, you know, because nobody was doing that. You know, everyone knew, like, Vijitos yeah. was doing that. So yeah. when you would hear Siren, you knew it was them. And then now, you know, everyone has one. So 
um, I think it was just trying to be different, you know. Yeah, and loud. And loud. I mean, what's louder than that? Felix drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast, bro. I got that you. Was fast. And he has that long, long hey, you know what? that doesn't have a stop and it keeps going. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's because of so, fe- it's not it, Felix drunk. It's Felix no, it's, drunk. It's a combination with his, of with both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felix, I was. I told Johnny, is Felix coming? Are you gonna get Felix? Yeah, like, for I, someone to tell Felix, he's, but he's busy, yeah. really busy. I I have a great appreciation for uh, Felix's his personality. Obviously, is is just the way he is, but his balance. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> he like he could be on a good one and he's, he's holding, he's holding on, right? for like, It looks like he's just holding on, just like, but always a good time, man. man like it, it, yeah. he's one of those dudes. Like whenever you see him, it's it's you know it's a good time. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think we all are right, Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 refined now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's see his his pinky. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, So William, you said you had twenty rides or how many? What? Oh. Wow, he had about twenty rides. You've had about twenty. Why? How does that work? My mind, my mind's kind of crazy. I think of one car, then I start working on it, and I like, see no, something else. Throw it away. I like it. <laughs> I can't afford to keep them all. So, how many do you so, have now? I only have one. But that's the one. That's what I'm saying now. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think so. It's getting really expensive to fix a car now. Yeah, that's what we were talking but, about. Just the to find somebody to help hey, you long, work on them is really hard too. But people. I but I think that like I think me and like William and Felix came from like obviously like seeing our dads going through cars, working on their cars and, and like we have the same passion. Like I mean, my dad to this day like built recently the thirty nine. It wasn't like it was done a long time ago and you know, William's dad Jefe keeps adding to something different things out yeah. no no it's, it, it's always something yeah. new you, they just don't get settled for the same thing over and over they always try to make it different i mean you know and i think me and william are kind of the same yeah. the same like i, I remember something it, wrong with me. yeah <laughs> uh, uh, story about women i think when he was how old were you when we had the 57 and you uh, made it a convertible like, 17. <laughs> what? 17? Yeah, he had a 57 hard top. And then yeah, I remember we showed top. up. We cut the oh, thing. Cut, yeah. I showed up and they're cutting was, the top on it, dude. Yeah, what? It was, it was rusted. The top was rusted. And at the time, it didn't know better. <laughs> it was yeah. a good idea. Wait, so what I did you do? Cool you just took a torch to it? Yeah, I was just... <laughs> Saw-saw. Really? Yeah. yeah dude. Fuck the roof? Yeah. <laughs> well, I realized it was rusted because the back... Window popped out, (laughs) (laughs) shattered everywhere, and that's when I said, "You know what? Yeah, (laughs) rag top, rag life." (laughs) (laughs) And but but I mean, it's cool because I mean, like, like you know, a lot of people are scared to do that. You know what I mean? Like, or work on your own cars, or don't know how, or. I think it's an age thing because now I was thinking about shopping my 36. And now I kind of like the way it is. Yeah, you know, it is good the way it is, bro. Yeah. Chop it. Chop I appreciate it. the way it is. I was like, wow, it looks good. If I shop Somebody it, once uh, told me, um, because when I had the, the 49 fleet line, I was asking a yeah. friend of mine. Actually, it was uh, Jesse James, yeah. who was a friend of mine, but not not really much but anyways he's cool but i told him like hey i'm thinking of chopping it like what do you think he goes home so he goes and i i i I respect the dude because he's done Mm -hmm. some real cool shit and built some really badass cars he said chevy wasn't wrong like chevy chevy was right that year chevy got it right like you have to appreciate the quality that that those true chevrolet builds were and and packard too like you know, they had some real badass designers, and it's it is yeah. what it is, and it's it's a thirty six, bro. Like, yeah. 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 So yeah. hopefully the can someone take the saws away from him? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I don't care. Yeah, he says it now, but yeah, later on, it's, it's, it's one of these days gonna plan it. Oh, <laughs> what would he do? What would your dad? What would your dad do? Make it a rack top. <laughs> he would, he would put it. Yeah, yeah. from him because back in the 
early 80s, he had a 1970 Monte Carlo, and he cut it. He cut it. He did a Hollywood top on it. <laughs> and it was oh, he it. did it. Yeah, he did it himself. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. So that was just a straight line. Yeah. That was right be, be, behind the windshield and then yeah, that half, was really like half the roof. Back then. Yeah, that and T-tops. T-tops. The T-tops. Yeah. But, you know, you just had to look how clean it was done. It was just... Yeah, that was. Oh, and the pictures are good. <laughs> <laughs> I have some pictures of it. I'm like, wow, yeah. that looks badass. Yeah, it? I mean, it, 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 yeah, but did, but could he put the piece back on? <laughs> did he even know where he was at? That, 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 that was, was that like was the trick at the time. When yeah, he did it because the the t tops were badass because you could put them back, back on in, and they yeah. were glass. That, those are well, those on his nice. thirty nine um, sedan. He did a rag top on it, and the top works properly the what the one he has now yeah oh it works yeah, yeah it's a sliding oh, shit. Right i was yeah. honestly i was like well, he cut the roof <laughs> <laughs> yeah he did but it works yeah. but it worked i haven't seen it closed yeah it looks good yeah, yeah. so it's it's black mm -hmm. the color of the roof it's and black. it closes yeah so where did he get that system from he made it no he ordered it from i don't know where he ordered it from but because yeah, that's a works. big roof yeah like maybe out of like a Volkswagen That's van what I was say, or like something a like a yeah. Well, e Efren's car, it's thirty six Oldsmobile. They come. It has that. Yeah, it has the original. Yeah, but the but they they don't slide. They don't. They, oh, they don't. Just it's just removal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those, okay. A lot of those. My my coupe has the same hole too. Oh, yeah. Okay. But they they weren't supposed to slide. Oh. I don't know the reasoning behind yeah. that, but yeah. That's how they saving came. metal. I, I think what's really cool is the way Big Renee and your dad became friends at night because you guys were in a, were building bicycles right and then you guys introduced them and since that time it's all been kind of a big family, family. that's all it yeah. is dude. a big family yeah. thing and that's that's badass I, I didn't i didn't know that whole story so that's that's I cool do you still like renee are you guys family. still cool yeah. 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 <laughs> i know more of them than my actual cousins or aunts that live around here i don't even know say yeah. who my cousin is if yeah. see him on the streets. Yeah. Yeah. We fat. They were like, we're family. Yeah. Some that's, good memories. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. But it's, it's, and then you guys really, adopted Johnny? Yeah. No, no actually, no, 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 actually, first, we like first. Johnny came over later. Yeah. In the beginning, um, we met two brothers. They were from North County. Uh -huh. And they wanted to join the club. And that's when Rudy and Johnny. Yeah. Came yeah. In. Well, before it was Ephraim and Flacco. So we knew we knew Flacco from our friend Jimmy who re rest in peace passed away and then when that's how we met Ephraim and yeah then down here yeah know, Beto, the, no, Beto. and oh Beto from San Marcos well. yeah. yeah um and then ended up coming to the meetings right here in Chicano Park way back in the day yeah. you remember I still tell the tell the story about the meetings at Chicano Park when the homeless were there, where the cactus is yep. now, and playing miniature golf, and like having sex, and, <laughs> and playing yeah, the you know, miniature golf, yes, doing well, all kinds of crazy. Well, that's shit. the crazy thing that we still have our meetings at Chicano Park. We haven't left. <laughs> <laughs> the bugs are still there. <laughs> yeah, but it's uh so so now after all this time, it's been what twenty some years uh, as far as San Diego chapter twenty three. Yeah, twenty. How's years. it looking like the future? Uh, like the new members, the youngsters, because uh, it, it's hard. Like you guys all said, it's super yeah, expensive know, it's to getting, do shit. It's getting hard now, you know. I, uh, it's like a, it's like everything. Sometimes it's like a roller coaster. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you know everybody lay down. Ah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, like me right now. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, um, like as far as members, we're about what thirty two deep. Um couple guys with cars couple uh, you know a couple guys in the shop like always you know but uh but like my dad said i think with the whole scene i guess i could say um it's just and with the whole with the pandemic and everything i think a lot of people just kind of want to chill now we're not as we haven't really done any events active. lately <laughs> we've been so active lately um more than anything just just kind of the pandemic. How, how, how do you feel it's changed? I guess for Big Renee, as far as low riding from the 80s, 90s, um, how it's changed compared to now? And then I'll ask you guys after, because you guys are, you know, it was, to me, it's the same as you guys. It's different now than yeah, it was when sure. we started. I think 
when me jefe, you know, we started, it wasn't like more like a family. We do parties together, maybe 10 members, but they're like, you might, come, more the, more the member we like compadres for the time, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Me a mi hija, you know. A quinceañera, you want to pay for the padrino de la cerveza, you know. So, but now it's more like every everybody cut their own thing. That's what the way. I live. Yeah. What about ride wise, like cars? Because some of these cars are going for a quarter of a million dollars, and, and you know, or but more. We're not. We're not. Com- we're not com- com- it's too much competition. Yeah. I think I think the 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 thing is how has low riding in general changed from the eighties till now? I think the it's, scene. It's a lot of money right now. You, besi- so besides the financial part, what about yeah, the financial. cultural you part? Know, you can tell those cars now, like back in the day, you know, you got a nice car, you can drive it, but now it's like everybody like you got a nice car, I want to go be better at you. That's yeah. what I see. So it's it's just a lot more, more competition, competition. Yeah, and, yeah, more competition and um. Like back in the day, you just put the rim, drop it up, nice paint. You can now like it was more cruising and and parties and families you know, and stuff like that. Back in the day, we used to like we all family, you know, everybody like yeah. Now it's more like everybody want to do their own thing. Yeah. What do you think, Renee? Like, what do you think about the whole low riding scene? I I mean, I think like I've been I've been involved in in the scene since the late seventies, right. early early eighties, um, and I've seen the way that it was, the way, you know, basically the transition. And I, I, I dropped out of the scene for a while when I was in college. And then after I started the business, I got back in. Right. But, um, you know, cruising Highland in the late 70s and the, the early 80s and being in the car club in the early 80s and seeing what it was like then and what it's like now. And now it kind of gives me anxiety sometimes. You know, it's just, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, sure. I can't, I can't deal with it sometimes. But wh- what do you think, Renee? Cause you've been around it for a long time too, just with your family, your dad. And right. So how do you, I mean, I, I tell people low riding is probably bigger than it's ever been. Yeah. I think I, but I agree how with do you, you on how that. do you, how do you feel about the whole scene right now? I, um, it is? I mean, in San Diego, mostly me, me personally. And this is, you know, me personally, please. Um, I, 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 yep. Yeah, that's, I, how I, I, uh, that's, that's that's the right like, answer. I don't, I don't, that's man, exactly the way I feel. That's how I feel. Well, the, 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 the only thing, <laughs> well, the, thing next, the, the thing is, is um, <laughs> I think when like Johnny said the, I guess the era, I guess you could say, say, you know, we could say the era that 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 we came from was like two thousand ish. Um, I got the end of Highland yeah, and I got towards the tail end of Highland and all that stuff. But I think, uh, back then you, it was almost like underground. You had to know someone to be accepted. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, like, like you can't, you couldn't just kind of what it is now. You buy a car and you're automatically in the scene. You post a couple posts and, and you're part of it. No one's respecting the history. No one's respecting the hustle. No one's respecting anything about nobody's, building a car nobody's pulling your card yeah i mean honestly yeah. i mean i mean me personally like i said again um like it sounds so stupid sometimes and i think about it but the some of these cars that came out of san Diego were like my superheroes like like i would ask them to go to chicano park when individuals was having their meetings oldies when i was not little like little little and if i saw Suavecito out there, you know, Jose Romero's car, or if I saw uh, Crystal Blue Persuasion out there, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, because I respected it, and and I knew the history behind it, you know what I mean? And I think, like, with anything, I mean, tattooing and anything, you know, you have to pay your dues, I guess you could say, and I think that got lost, you know, and and it's not a bad thing, but I think it's just, I don't want to say it's washed out, but it's just, you know, I've... Me personally, I've gone through some shit to build a car. You know what I mean? Like to the point where, where I'm not buying clothes because I want to build it and it's a fucking struggle and it feels really, really good. Like, like once it's out. And I think that's getting lost where, where shit, I still enjoy washing my cars and there's people just getting dudes to wash their cars every fucking weekend. Like it's getting lost. I think of it. And I think it's more of a cool factor than almost like a lifestyle factor. I mm-hmm. guess you could say. Yeah. But. I you mean, think so, you think social media kind of fucked it up? Yeah, and yeah. we're all guilty of it. I mean, 
Mm-hmm. I I mean I say I am. I yeah. mean I used to post it and everything, and we yeah. kind of we kind of opened the doors, the floodgates mm-hmm. for it, you know. And but yeah, I mean that 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 really did it. I mean, like everything else, I guess you could mm-hmm. say no. And certain I don't know, just uh, it's a little bit damaged right now. In my, in my in my personal opinion too, I just think that it the and and you know yeah I'm that that dude that's been around for a long time and and a little bit older dude just a little bit, just a little but bit. <laughs> um, but I you know the costume party part of it the um some of the some yeah. of the energy that's coming around the scene. Um, you know, but on a positive side of that, you know, there's always the beautiful part of, 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 and I always go back to Chicano Park in the morning when the right people are there. Yeah. And, and, and you see people that you haven't seen in a year or two or three. And it's, and it's, it's like, it's exciting. It's the energy, the vibe, the, the, you know, the, cause they also become family at one point, like pretty much like, like even if you're not in my club, I know dudes that I've known for freaking years. Fuck yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a badass thing until with all the noise comes and shows. (laughs) (laughs) No, but, but no, that's, but I'm just saying like that whole, that whole thing is, and you, you, you still have a sense of like, who the real motherfuckers are, you know, who, yeah. who's, who's, who belongs there. Who's not, yeah. I mean, I don't know, not, belo- it, yeah, not, not belongs there, but I think it's, you know, f- for a long time, like, I think as a low rider, as being in the scene, we always knew that our shit was the coolest shit. It was the, the absolute coolest, um, you know, way to express ourselves, the coolest shit, the coolest yeah. thing you could do. And, and then all of a sudden it really got acknowledged as the, the coolest cool shit, shit you yeah. could do. And then you're like, whoa, whoa, slow down. But it's still our shit. Yeah. Like it's still, it's still, and it, it kind of got over maybe the, the underground part of it is gone. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The, the almost yeah. the cool factor. Oh, of it yeah. Is, 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 that's, but that's not to say that, the, you know, the cars aren't badass or take anything yeah, away course, from it. I mean, but excuse I mean, me, not, culturally it's, um, yeah, changed. Could, what about you, William? What, what do you oh, think? I feel like it's changed a lot. That's why I haven't we haven't pushed the club to go to every single event because I feel like sometimes I can, if as an older club, feel like an outsider to these newer car clubs that are throwing events. We show up and we're like, "Who are these car clubs? Who are these people? Yeah, <laughs> where do they come from? Right? <laughs> you know, different names and it's like a different scene." For some reason, right? That that kind of you know, but I I also look at it, and I've said this before. Like, I always try to be look at the look at um, both sides, right? Because if if people weren't, if there wasn't this new generation and these new car clubs uh, popping up, then the scene could be dead. Well, it could be kind of, but or maybe it's me getting older now. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> but see that's what i'm saying too but you're not that old bro well, you're how old are you 41 yeah but but you, I, I was like you're born 41 into this. yeah damn i thought you were like still in your like early 30s or oh, something was nice. you was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was no but 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 you know what i mean like uh, on the opposite side of that if there wasn't all this new energy and there wasn't all this excitement and yeah, there wasn't all this interest and the kids weren't into it yeah. then then it's kind of a double-edged sword. There's, there's yeah. you got to look but, at the good part and the bad part. Yeah, and you know it's crazy because it's it's. I totally agree with you, but I think at the same time we gotta. I'm gonna say we like we're all old and shit, but we, uh, well, you, no. <laughs> Johnny, uh, uh, we kind of we kind of have to uh, show kind of the dudes the rope. Like I shit with us with the club. I mean. We ain't, we ain't pointing no one to the right direction. That's what we're doing you, here. You wanna, you wanna, oh, how do I do this? Oh, come to my house, here's my tools, and go at it. You're gonna fuck up your own car. Yeah. I mean, you know what and, I mean? Or, that's what I think too. A lot of the people that just, you know, get yeah. into it, like, eventually it gets filtered because shit breaks down all the time and it's fucking frustrating. And it's like, if you're not into it, like, you don't, the passion's not there. You're gonna, it's gonna sit and then you're gonna sell it. Yeah. But if you're, okay, cool, it broke. I'm gonna fix it. Let's keep going. Let's keep, then the longer you, everyone know, and everyone knows each other here in San Diego, you know, so people know who's who. Um, but it, it's like, it's like a roller coaster, right? Right. Like it goes up, goes down, and then it just levels out eventually. 
Because, I mean, it, it, it happened, what, like in the 90s, too, no? Where it almost died out, right? Where it wasn't cool? There were different to, scenes yeah. that came in. Like, you had the whole Euro scene yeah, and yeah. the mini well, truck the mini scene. Trucks, and, 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 and and people started, started doing... Now they're back. Shout out Dyes. Well, me? Remember? Dyes, I built one, tr- I built Dyes, one, like, Dyes built a badass truck. But you remember, see that thing? You didn't see mine? The two, like, before all them, like, me and him built oh, a... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's right. You did. Yeah, the bed yeah, dancer. Yeah. Never done it. Come yeah. on. Where is so it? my son. Oh, I sold it. Took it apart. Sold it. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was just one of those where I've never done one. Yeah, like, you did. Made him right. weld. Made him do that. Uh, I'm gonna make a real quick observation. So we're, this is podcast number what? It's like 2023, 20, I think, or 24 or something. like so that. So I'm gonna tell you something. So every podcast, people come in, and sometimes we'll do a shot, or we'll have yeah. a beer, we'll have a couple beers before, right. we'll have a couple beers during. Your boy Johnny. This is the first time <laughs> during a podcast that he's actually drinking a beer. His beer pressure. Because my, well, da- my dad's here. He's gonna yeah. like, like no, <laughs> He's gonna pull his vehicle card. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, a natural environment type thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have no control. <laughs> what was uh, Johnny? Johnny gets around. I think it's William sitting next to him. Like, yeah. How could William be sitting next to me and I don't have a beer? But, a beer. <laughs> oh but this yeah. is, you know what's gonna happen, right, Johnny? We're gonna end up somewhere else after this, then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. BFW, $2 yeah. beers. <laughs> Until hang. two in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> no. But uh yeah. <laughs> that's what I that's, that's I, what you know, like you say, Rudy, Janet, you know, we we like <laughs> we used to party. Yeah. No, and, I know. I know that. And I remember just, when we used to go to the show uh, Majestic uh, Bird used to do in a convention center what, yeah. five, ten years ago? Yeah. About ten years ago. Longer, longer. The, the yeah. indoor the Clean indoor, indoor show. Was yeah. Nice. yeah. So nice one show. time you yeah. know. <laughs> we hide the beard, you know. For the How show. dare you? No, <laughs> that's it. We can't get um, out the secrets. But it was a long time to get in. You know, we almost over by Sirpa Village. You know, to go around. Yeah. By the time we're in, we drink all the beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No more cerveza. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but you just by the drink time them online. We, the next day, like. We'll come here, nobody. We'll come. We do. Yeah, <laughs> but see, other other clubs do the same shit yeah, because you but go to like big three. See, and defending the club. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, boy, daddy. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were having a conversation earlier about a, a show here in San Diego and how yeah. you know yeah. you got talked to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or how we oh, got talked yeah, to. Yeah, no, yeah. no, so, but hold on. Okay, the same. This is the convention center. Ten years, let's say twelve years ago. Bird. It was nice. same same thing, right? Yeah. So we just did a show last month with Bird. Yeah. That when I was telling you guys about yeah. at the, <laughs> at the Chula Vista Mall, and uh, Bird comes up to me. I had nothing to do with it. The, the next day we show up, and Bird's all like, "Hey, freaking heaven and your dad, they're fucking. They left a fucking mess of beer cans. This oh. is." And I'm like, "Dude, will you keep I inviting?" There. I wasn't there. <laughs> I was <wasn't laughs> I was like, "Dude, you keep you keep inviting us." He's like, "No, no, I'm not saying anything. I just." I hope when I'm their age, I can party like that. <laughs> he just, he just, Bird just gave up on us. I, 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 there he go. Well, next time you invite me to a church. To a church. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, damn. But, but I mean, good yeah, but Bird. Bird I mean, shout yeah. out to Bird. Yeah, yeah Bird's that, a shit. Bad, yeah. Yeah. So you can't think. Yeah. yeah. Well, next time you invite but, me but to that's, church. But that's that's <laughs> the thing, man. Is and I've said it. Um, I said I repeat myself a lot, but the community in San Diego, I think, is it's the shit. Like just the, everybody's yeah. cool for the most part. There's com- there's there's competitive for parts sure. of it. There's little people that say shit here and there, but at the end of the day, let something happen to any one of these individuals, and we're all together. Yep. Like it's it's a lot of love and respect and admiration, and and the scene is really fucking cool for yeah. the most part. I don't like you. I'm with you, William. I don't know a lot of these youngsters. I don't know a lot of these young clubs. I don't know a lot of these names that are popping up. I don't know everything or everybody or see everything. But um, I think, like you said, I think social media is changing everything. Now. Yeah. People think it's cool. Yeah. You, c- you have a name like and a, a, go buy a car and dress yeah, like a cholo. And, dress like a cholo. <laughs> dress like a cholo. <laughs> yeah. And post up with a 40 ounce. Yeah. Cool um, thing we do now. Fine. Yeah. There goes my weekend. <laughs> What am I gonna do now? <laughs> no, but yeah, no, for sure. But good times. So, 
I mean, obviously, we just talked about a lot of stuff, about, especially like about the club. Like, yeah. Having a good time. That's what I call it. Not drinking, yeah. not getting drunk. It's having a good time. So yeah. not drinking and not getting drunk <laughs> is having memories. a good time? Creating, Creating memories. memories. As long as everyone gets home safe and nobody ends up in jail, it's all good. Right? Yeah. There's been a couple of times. There's <laughs> <laughs> oh, been a couple of those. Uh, uh, but so are you going to build anything else? I know your dad said he's done. No, um, that's a I'm gonna, no pressure. No, nah, I mean, I was building something. I ended up selling it. You were supposed to hold my pink slip. Remember? Oh, yeah. What, what happened? Is it? You sold that? Yeah. <laughs> it was a coupe. Yeah, Buick. Yeah. yeah. Said Buick. But, oh, so and yeah. I told them, I go, you're going to sell it. Yeah. You're going to sell it. And did I tell you, yeah, let me hold the pink, pink slip? slip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't give it to me. Then I sold it. <laughs> so uh, I knew he would sell but, it, bro. Uh, he sells everything. No, but uh, you know what? I, it was cool because I ended up Let's trading uh, and I got uh, Adrian's old Elko back. The oh, Camino was yeah, what's yeah. an original vehicle car. Not as cool the f- as the Buick. 60? Oh. Yeah, the 60. Yeah. 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 But I'll probably sell that, too. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's no, I, I, I really want to redo my convertible. I think I'm just going to... Nothing. Just make it fresh? Make it fresh. Go to the bathroom, freshen up? Make over. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what's next. Yeah. It's because we ride them hard. They but that to, one, hey, you, don't, you don't see it too much. No, I know, but I just excuse me. I'm not one to talk because <laughs> my, my shit already comes out either. But yeah, no, I think it's just that whole like <clears throat> William said. I think something's wrong with us. Where <laughs> again? Oh, yeah, there we go. You know, again. I don't. I don't. And I had this conver- conversation. I was talking to um, Conejo yesterday, and we we're doing doing little things to the '63. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do this and that, and put the do the chrome and. You know, whatever. Just touch it up and, yeah. and keep adding stuff to it and working on it and kind of finessing it. And I'm like, them, and I go, but for what? <laughs> yeah. Where am I gonna go? Like, what am I gonna yeah. do? Like, where are we gonna like? But I the think- scene isn't appealing. Like a lot of shit that's happening on the scene right now doesn't really appeal but, to I mean, me. But we're Chicago not doing Park- it. Chicago but, Park Day is always appealing. But we don't do it for no one else. No, you know what I mean, yeah, we do it. Yeah. We do it, and and I. I still think, you know, when there's something that pops up that feels like, fuck yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Then, then you're ready. Yeah, exactly. You, so it's like, it's kind of like one of those things you just stay ready. Yeah. For when the right, right event or the right thing pops up, like you're ready. Yeah. And, 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 and there it is there. Yeah. So, but yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to build like stuff on the side and go through. What about you, Johnny? Yeah, Nothing, yeah exactly, no. dude. I need to rebuild both of mine. <laughs> it's too much work. I'm tired. Tired. Tired I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing. Me and Johnny have put both of our cars through some shit. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. You have. I mean, Johnny, <laughs> I always, Johnny's a maniac with that pack, yeah, dude. The They're sleep. like, um, like rock stars. They live short lives, <laughs> quick and fast. <laughs> Do it big. Yeah. And That's a nice. real, real yeah. good way to look yeah. at it, Johnny. You come up with that all by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty good. So You know what? Big huh. Jagger. The Bud Life so talking. The big Bud, Bud, Bud Life. Life. <laughs> What's that? Four or five? <laughs> That's pretty no, good. No, but seriously, like, like they're to enjoy. So, you know, eventually catches up because yeah. you enjoy too much and shit starts falling. Yeah. Um, but then you fix it and then you keep going. Keep cruising. Yeah. Um, it's not a fad, you know what I mean? It's not um, it's, something that you do yeah. in your spare time. And it's, it's cool just, to have show cars. I mean, don't get me wrong, but, like, I think me and Johnny, William, well, for the most of us, all of us in the club like to yeah. put in work. But, <laughs> but, you, know, but you guys really have some real clean bombs on yeah. stuff, too. Like, I, yeah. I've seen some real yeah. real clean. Classy your primo's stuff. car is badass, yeah, too. Yeah. How's he doing? Ooh. Your primo, the one that used to be right here in the front. Oh, Ernie? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> he's right. good. <laughs> and, then, and then there was a, a 47 or 48 that they just finished in Tecate. Not, not just, I think. The it was 42. Like, was it a 42? It's a one? Yeah. The 42. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 42. Because yeah. it didn't change much between 42, 47. Yeah. Oh, 42 the reals, yeah. It's yeah. the real, the real yeah. deal. That, that thing's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's working on it again, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. actually. He's working on it. He's. He cut it all out too. It kind of yeah, it's going to come out. Four lean. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, into it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so, That's the only way to do those. Yeah, yeah. So, but like me, per- like like I said, me and Johnny and me personally, dude, I used to take my kids to the baseball games in the car, put all the gear in it, and then all of a sudden you see me and used to run around with the luggage on the right, top right. of the car. And we would say that they kicked them out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> had all the, the sad fun. part was they did, dude. Yeah, ah, you guys didn't know. <laughs> 
Be yeah, cool. dude. No one offered me a home. There was all those old school pieces of luggage. Would yeah. you find them at the thrift stores or yeah, at the yeah. big three? That's where the beer would be snuck in. Yeah, the coolest. Yeah. See? So, so the big three is done. I know, man. But um, there may be something happening at Kobe's pretty soon. I've been here. Yeah, we'll talk about that yeah, later. I heard, I heard. Yeah, yeah. there might Santee be something. Santee was good, something. too. No, they, had, they did in Santee. Yeah. They yeah. did something in Santee. Good. Yeah. yeah. But I heard the Kobe's. I heard yeah. rumors. Maybe we'll get you mm. involved with that or something. <laughs> I, I just want to touch on the uh, different kind of cars, like like Renee was talking about, like uh, us, how we just cruise them and all that. And I think um, I think low riding is like uh, any other art, like tattoos. There's different kinds of tattoos. Uh, not better or worse, just different, right? There's black and gray, there's color, there's, you know, traditional and stuff like that. Same thing with, with the cars. There's the show ones that, that some motherfuckers here in San Diego, like chromed out, hopping down the street, you know, yeah. like Big Tone and, yeah. and Ryan and stuff. Like those are badass. And it's just, um, you know, different than what we do. It's, it's, uh, a different genre of the same art, I guess, or, yeah. or whatever that may, may be called. For sure. Um, it's like mini trucks too. Like I don't get mini trucks, but I don't either. <laughs> but it's cool. Though. Yeah, it's cool. I do everything. Yeah. Do some hard body. Then I don't care. They're all cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about you, Adrian? What are you like? Uh, Japanese cars. Yeah. So there it is. Yeah, he does twenty twenty forty. Uh, yeah, Japanese cars. Yeah. Well, you mean Japanese lowriders, right? No, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna buy a Japanese car. Bring yeah, yeah. Uh, fifty nine Japanese. That's weird because because Isaac <laughs> fifty nine Japanese. Because Isaac's like he, he, I tell him, like, well, so what do you like? He goes, I like the Japanese style lowriders, like the way that the they, crazy, they, like the, the yeah. There's no that, rules. It's like remember we used to yeah. the conversation. Yeah. Them, them dudes do not care. They don't about the box. Yeah, <laughs> they don't. Like, I, love I, that. I love that yeah. shit too. I yeah. love, so what kind of Japanese car? Adrian is Renee's son, so that's the next generation down right there. Yeah. Uh, JDM. JDMs. Yeah. Dotsons. What years? Dotson. The older ones. Uh, yeah, well, State he said year Dotson because Dotson stopped in what? The eighties, so well, late seventies. Yeah. Go. So, you have one now? They, they yeah, I got two. Yeah, so. yeah, I do actually. <laughs> That's why so, I say Japanese car. Yeah. So that's probably going to be your first car. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if you know your price, 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 yeah, I think he just gave me a he's, hint. He's afraid of yeah. something. He's afraid. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. All right. Well, uh, you have any shout outs to anybody? Anything, anything else anything you guys you? want to talk about or say? Or? Um, yeah, dude. I mean, honestly, bro, like for us, and I'm going to say us and our family, like, my family and and William's family, um, just including the family and having the family support is what really really helps us do what we do. And they don't. I think that's so important. Like as far as us, you know what I mean. Like, I mean, I've known you guys for a while. I've known you Bob for a while, and I mean, I've always been around with my kids. Always been around me. Mm-hmm. To have them. when I was small, my dad used to bring me along. His dad, I think it's. That has to do a lot, a lot with it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If if you want to stay in the car game, I guess. You know what I mean? And like, you know, that's that's cool. Like, you know, shout out to the to my mama. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she she's she had a, a real, she's a real MVP, yeah exactly right? yeah. 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 Shout out to my mama to deal with my crazy dad and you <laughs> and you fucker and you hurt your brother. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Phoenix. <laughs> so she she deals with your dad and you you and Felix like that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, but William, William, the, the simple the answer. Yeah, uh, the nice yeah. The nice yeah. yeah. I would like that, William. Yeah. William, you still you still working at with Nord- at Nordstrom? At Nordstrom? So you do yeah. design at Nordstrom, I've been right? There for twenty years. Twenty yeah. years at Nordstrom. I'm a, I, I'm a visual merchandiser. I do the display windows. That's the badass. Holidays. Like Jerry Joker. Yeah, he's so, coming. Yeah. He'll be here. There you go. Yeah, he'll be here uh, in September. Oh, what? So, yeah, he's coming down to visit yeah. with his wife. But yeah, that's what he did. So basically, you're a designer for, for you design window displays at yeah. Nordstrom. Yeah. Did you see Cruella? Yeah. That's that was badass, right? Yeah. That was good. And yeah, the way she did the window design? Yeah. It was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That, it was inspiring, right? Yeah. 
I, I think it was. Like, yeah, I, I, I watched it like windows. six times. Sometimes I just sit there and stare, stare at it, and then I was like, all right, I'll just grab the staple gun and fucking like, uh, anything, and then start creating on the wall and start painting. But but you know what's crazy? That Willem used to do all our car wash flyers and, and car show flyers when he was freaking 17. Huh? <laughs> I still yeah. have those, That's dude. That's badass, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know what? I, I think it's hard really hard. cool that for the tapados and people that, that want to put us in a box to think that, you know, you're from the neighborhood, you're from viejitos, you're into low riding, you know, you, you're, you're one of us and we're all from the same kind of culture and that you're right there killing it at Nordstrom for 20 years doing, you know, giving them some <laughs> looks. Crazy. You're providing looks for Nordstrom, which is, is badass, dude. That, we, that, we that's actually, commendable. Uh, we have a low rider bike on display in the kids department. Is that the first All time? All chrome and twisted. <laughs> is that because of you? Folks. A lot of people blame me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said blame. Yeah, blame. Not, not give him credit. <laughs> yeah, blame. Yeah. 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 That's, so that's so cool. you went in to, for, to be the janitor, right? And I was. You uh, <laughs> 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 <He> was Al <laughs> Bundy. You <laughs> <He> was the shoes. <laughs> oh, <the shoes>. yeah. <laughs> I, I used to travel to open new Nordstrom's and one time they sent me to Santa Monica before the Santa Monica store opened and they would provide hotel food everything I would be there for a week I showed up in my little Chevy S10 hotel and the guy the valet guy goes hey uh maintenance (laughs) oh shit I was like what really yeah wow I'm here to get a room (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> True story. Yeah. You know, it's, hap- it's happened to all of us. I think it, it's just part of the territory. Uh, one, really? one last. How many, how many chapters you guys have now? How many viejitos chapters are there? I know there's one in Australia, right? Yeah, yeah. We got Australia, Japan, the uh, freaking South Europe, uh, Jalisco, Jalisco, Mexico, a couple of Mexico. Dude, I don't know where we're up at. Rene, a ver cuántas. No sé. <laughs> no, it went down for a little bit, you know, like I say, everything yeah. is yeah. like a roller coaster, you know. Yeah. So, little problems, you know, like always all the car clouds, the car problems. Yeah. But no, we, so we, we still, got a little couple of years, you know, little problems. Uh, we still, couple, yeah. we we still got a bunch, dude. You know, a but, lot of people step out. I don't know. I don't know. I lost it's count. in the 30s. Yeah. Right? yeah it was I was like going to say like, like 30, I think, yeah. yeah. I think we're like around 36 ish right now. Chapters? Chapters. Holy shit. Have you guys ever done like a. Everybody get together. Well, trip out. Uh, a, uh, one year we went to Chicano Park Day, and uh, the Japanese were staying at my house, and it was cool because we couldn't talk to each other. <laughs> 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 nah, but he was super cool, Kiel River. Yeah. But these dudes, uh, I mean, you've 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 seen them. I mean, yeah. This dude had Aztec tattoos on him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like in viejitos across the stomach, and it was just a trip. Like like and. Super respectful, the most respectful people you could do, dude. Yep. He got he got up the next day and his bed was already done at my house and tight, yeah, too, huh? yeah, dude. Tight. like yeah. So, yeah. but they stayed at my house that year. I think we did a big party. So Japan came, Australia came. It was a bunch of the. So we know a lot of those guys. Uh, yeah, Australia came. Uh, not recently. Uh, the dude from South Europe came. We ate at Salud. We nice. Know. That's kind take of the go-to cars. spot yeah. when people come. Yeah, and we meet them, take out the cars. Like, and you, you see those guys, you know, they look like, you know, like, <laughs> like guy from <laughs> Like Rasa. They yeah, look like, like Rasa, you know, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. yeah. So, you know. so yeah, man, they, we've, we've, uh, um, we've met them. It's not like they're just Instagram buddies and Facebook buddies. They actually make the trip more than we And can. actually, yeah. the <laughs> chapter we can Japan now, yeah. it's one, it was one of our members from here. Oh yeah, the Navy. yeah. He, the he, Navy, remember? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's stationed out there. He's right? stationed. Did we see not him no more. We were out he got there? retired. He's retired. Well, yeah. He went to yeah. Classic yeah. Legends, little, right? Yeah. I don't want to say a little short guy, but yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah. yeah. Rene, and his name Renee too. It's Renee. Yeah. But it's Renee. Oh, little Renee too. Renee. Renee. They took your name? No, it's Renee. No, a little, oh. little, little. Little, <laughs> <laughs> little, little, little Renee. Yeah. Actually, it's my compadre, so I don't want to get it out there. It's gonna get this. So, who who would be considered like the mother chapter? LA? Yeah. LA. yeah. Still LA, yeah. LA. Yeah. So, and then you guys? No, no. we got. There was there was IE, right? Yeah, no. And, uh. Oxner. Oxner, Santa Maria. Oh. So we're like top five, I think, or something five, like that. Yeah. yeah. We're in the oldest. But you know, they start popping everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you hate those babies. What are you doing, Adrian? 
Falling asleep right there? <laughs> so far, it's sparring. You can't go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Johnny, you're going to close this one yeah, out. Yeah, well, it's been great, you know, hearing the story. William, Big Renee. Renee. I, I don't want to call you Little Renee. It's weird. Like uh, like you're a little kid or something. Like Adrian. <laughs> but that's but, all but it always Big is. Renee. It's always like Big Renee or Little Renee. Yeah. Yeah. Little Renee? Big Actually, it's Renee, yeah. too. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Three Renees? Nah, middle name, yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we appreciate you guys coming and taking the time, telling us the story. I know we just touched on everything, like, lightly. Yeah. It's a ton more stories. I got a few, you know, uh, from back in the day, but we don't want to embarrass some people. Uh-huh. <laughs> you. But... <laughs> <laughs> myself, yeah, myself, yeah. my yeah. people, myself. I can be myself in front of you guys. Yeah, so it's, it's cool. We know the real place, Johnny. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bobby and myself really appreciate you guys taking the time. Like I said, you, Lower Left Podcast. Bobby, you want to do the outro? You do it so well. Sheesh. William, thank you, bro. Thank you, Adrian. Yeah. You guys, Viejito, San Diego, the Lower Left Podcast, Seventeenth and Island, San Diego, Gonzalo's. We're out of here. Adios. Adios.